Now we're going to prove the theorem of the mid-segment of a trapezoid is parallel to e each base and its measure is one half the sum of the length of the bases. So what that means is we have a trapezoid A, B, C, D and we have the median EF. Now if you recall the median actually cuts these sides in two which means those sides are going to be equal to each other. All right, And that we're going to be trying to prove that EF is going to be parallel to AD and likewise EF is going to be parallel to BC and that the length of EF is going to be one half the length of, the length of BC added to AD. Now I put this on a coordinate grid and this point right here obviously is at the origin which is 0, 0. A is at the origin of 0, 0, this being the x-axis, this being the y-axis. And B, you notice, is over A and up D. And also C is from here to here is going to be, obviously, it's going to be B because we start from A going over to A plus B. And then the elevation or the height is going to be up here at D. Whereas now at D is going to be A plus B plus C, and of course it's going to be zero on the y-axis. Okay, so let's go about proving this. First, we know that we put down, we have the the, uh, the trapezoid of AB, uh, ABC, D, and the median EEF, which is just a restatement of what was uh, given. And we also know that BC is parallel to AD because that's part of the definition of a trapezoid. We've got to have this these here right here of being parallel to each other. Now, we want to establish where the midpoints of E and F are. And as you notice that E is over A, all right, which means that if we use the midpoint calculation, the midpoint uh, formula, we have A and it's over O, and so it's, it's going to end up being A, all right, one half, so that what you have is this right here is where going to be uh, E is on the X axis, and on the Y axis, it's going to be all the way up half of D, which is going to be one, uh, excuse me, that's a D, uh, elevation of D, so it's going to be one half that, okay? So now let's find out where F is. F, as you can see, here's D all the way over here, which is A, B, C, and this is F, okay? So F is going to be actually end up being, is going to be the, the addition of A, B, which is all the way over to here, okay? Plus, the midpoint is going to be from the, this point over here to this point right here, which is that's AB, and then oh, this point right here is AB plus, A plus B plus C, and we have to divide that by 2. And then the, the elevation again, or the, the altitude, is D, so it's going to have to be one half of that. And that's what you need, again, the midpoint calculation. And if we uh, reduce this, to combine like like terms, we end up with 2a plus 2b uh, plus c over 2 and d over 2, which is the x and y coordinates. Next, we know that this line, ad, has a slope of 0, ef has a slope of 0, and bc has a slope of 0, which means that, therefore, these lines are, in fact, uh, parallel because parallel lines have uh, equal slopes, and these right here are equal to zero. Now for the length for AD, we know the length of AD, as we have it indicated here, is A plus B plus C on the x-axis. And for B, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, from from uh, B to C, that is, we're starting at A, so the distance right here is going to be B. And as you notice, there was no change in the in the y-axis for, uh, for that. And from a distance uh, formula, we also have down here for the length of EF. EF, again, we start out here at one-half A, or A, uh, as I indicated here, A over 2 or one-half A. And then we have to add on to that, of course, we're going on from here to here, which means that we're going to have uh, B, which was the distance from here to here, and then the C, which is from this distance from B to here, is a distance of C. So this distance right here is A 
this distance right here is B, and this distance over here is the C. So that's why I have here a one half A plus B plus one half C is what this right here, and we're using all that by using the distance uh, calculation or distance distance formula. And next, as you can see right here, all I did was add these right here again, the one half, add it to the position over here, and then we that ends up being in this right here. Uh, Again, with combining the like terms. Now, for A, A, D, excuse me, D, A, or excuse me, A, D is, is plus this right here plus B, C is going to equal to that. And the reason we, I can say that is equal to one half E, F, which is what we're trying to prove, is that A, D, as you can see right here, is this distance right here, okay, plus B, and then B, C, is, as I mentioned earlier, was B, and so when we add these together, we're going to end up this right here together, which ends up as being A plus 2B plus C. Now, if I add these two together and I take one half of that, I end up with this, which is exactly the same thing as that we had over here, so therefore we have proved that AD plus BC equals one half EF, which, it is, which is, means that we have just proven that the mid-segment of, of the trapezoid is parallel to both the, the uh, each base, the top and the bottom base here, and also that its measure is one-half the sum of the lengths of these two, which we have just proved. Thank you.